Now for some history and a fascinating lecture held by our archives department. Henry Plant's story is amazing and it all started on Bay Street right in front of City Hall. On November 4th, 1879, quote, considerable interest was felt in the sale, and this is in reference to the Atlantic and Gulf Railroad. By 12 o'clock, when Captain Anderson appeared upon the steps and it was understood the sale was about to commence, there could not have been less than 600 persons around the Custom House. In fact, the attendance was larger than any ever seen in a public sale in this city. A major milestone in Savannah. Heather Truby Brown, curator of education for the Henry Plant Museum, spoke to a full room about a man who led the innovation of railroad connectivity in Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. His purchase of Atlantic and Gulf Railroad in 1879 was just the beginning of the story. Now in 1880, Plant purchases the Savannah and Charleston Railroad. And almost immediately after that, Plant begins making a plan for how to get to Jacksonville a little more directly. Plant coupled railroad travel with ocean travel. Savannah had a wharf just east of downtown. So a few years ago, Mrs. Jenkins introduced me to a man named Robert LePage. And he was the wharf manager of Plant's Savannah, Florida and Western Wharf here in Savannah. Starting in 1885, that's when he approached Plant to work on setting aside the land to establish a, this community. It was named LePageville in honor of Robert LePage for his founding this community and developing it. The LePageville Memorial Cemetery and, um, and LePageville Drive are actually two of the, the physical pieces that still remain in, in the area of LePageville. LePageville was demolished in the late 1960s, but the small cemetery remains. Bring more awareness to the LePageville history and uh, for funding for the master plan for the uh, cemetery. Patricia Jenkins is on a mission to raise $160,000 for full preservation of LePageville Cemetery and with it, the memory of a neighborhood past. You too can help. Just go to lepagevillememorialcemetery.org. To see the full lecture, just head over to our City of Savannah's YouTube page.